Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai by Hashem. Rekakadosh. Come back to you today with another great and powerful lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And the title of today's lesson is, He is hidden from the world, but revealed to his prophet. And I'd like to say shalom to all our listeners and learn that this will help you today and guide you back in the paths of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact, is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And I deal about it. A lot of things uh, has been prophesied. A lot of Bible prophecies are going out on a high level, and a lot of people are still in the dark. And why are they in the dark? Because they has been hidden from them, and they also have been blinded. It's not meant for them to get this. And I deal about it. the men of the law are prophesying left and right. Those are the ones that he's are dealing with. You know what I'm saying? The house of David, the one third. The 130 elect, and I did about it. A lot of people still don't know the true names of the Heavenly Father. Don't know why they are they're in the condition they are in. You know why did we go into slavery? They don't know why all these things came upon us. They don't know why uh, that they are. Uh, uh, they don't even know that they are Israelite. And I did about it is that you know the men of the Lord, we knowing uh, the secret of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And I did about it, we know His words because I did about it, we trust and lean on Him. We put our trust in Him. And I deal about is that, you know, a lot of things are getting ready to be revealed, but that is about only to a, a great remnant that would get it this time around. And I deal about it, that is the house of David, the beloved. And I deal about it, we are seeking our salvation each and every day. And uh, everyone else is going in the ways of the world because they have been blinded. They have the spirit of slumming, uh, a slum on them, Salaki. And I deal about it, they cannot uh, see and they cannot hear because things have been hidden from the evening. Even Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has hidden himself from them because they deal about they do not know the true names of the Heavenly Father. Only the, the true men of, of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, which in fact is the prophet, know the true names of the Heavenly Father, which in fact is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And I hope you get edified by the lesson today, uh, just going through the spirit and I deal about that, you know, a lot of things is being revealed to the one that was meant to get this truth. And everyone else has has been blinded and cut off. And I deal about it. We, we're living in some great and, and, and magnificent time. And you are truly blessed to be in this wise kind of and be in this great wisdom and knowledge because you did not find him. He found you. You know what I'm saying? You cannot choose him. He will choose you. And I deal about it is that, you know, everyone that was brought in, it was already uh, a preordained from the beginning. And I deal about it. Only a, a, a select few, you know, the idea about the world to come is only for a few. And the few is 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 the one that's doing the work in the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So we'll get started in the book of Isaiah. In the book of Isaiah, one moment. <clears throat> we get started in the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, and we'll start up at verse uh, 15. Verily thou art a power that Hidest thyself, O Lord of Israel, the Savior. So the idea about it, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is, is only revealing himself to the prophet, the one that is commanded and, and the one is meant to get this truth and, and doing the work each and every day, sign and crying. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and the idea about it is that it, it's prophesying against uh, uh, the so called white men, the heathen nation, also the two thirds. And the idea about it, we are the only one that that knowing what is getting ready to happen, that we are in the end time. And, and, and the majority of our people do not know that we are in the last day. They keep thinking that they are a good case, but the idea about it, they, they have been hidden from them. And the idea about it, and our, our true Lord and Savior has been hidden from them because they're constantly calling on that uh, uh, white man Jesus each and every day. And I deal about it, they are totally blinded. And I deal about it, the men of the Lord is, 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 is getting it each and every day because it has been revealed to them. So now, let's go to Amos chapter, let's go to Amos chapter 3, get a little bit more edification. Amos chapter 3, one moment. <clears throat> one moment. Amos chapter 3 and verse 7. Amos chapter 3 and verse 7. And it reads, surely the Most High will do nothing but reveal his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Let's read that again. Amos chapter 3 and verse 7. Surely the Most High will do nothing but reveal his secret unto his servants, the prophets. And I deal about each and every day he revealing the, the, end, the end game to us, you know, because we know we're, we're measuring the time diligently because the idea about it, the Lord has revealed it to us. He has revealed uh, Jacob's troubles to us. He's had revealed uh, this global reset. 
he has revealed that we read upon World War III. He has revealed that the RF micro the RFD microchip, which in fact is the mark of the beast. We knowing all it because the Lord had revealed it to us. And I deal about it. The, the rest of the world, they are blind. And I deal about it. When you go a quick precept, when you go to Romans chapter 11 and verse 7, it tells you, you know, uh, the, the rest has attained it and the rest was blinded. You know what I'm saying? So like we, we'll go to that script. I don't want to butcher that script. Let's go to Romans chapter 11. Romans chapter 11, one moment. <laughs> Romans, Romans chapter 11. In verse 7, and it reads, What then? Israel has not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election has attained it, and the rest were blinded. So the ideal about it, he only revealed his secrets to the prophet. And the ideal about it, the prophet is the elect, the house of David, each and every day, the men of the Lord, the one that's sighing and crying each and every day, the one that the world hates. And I deal about his death, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna continue to do the will of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And I deal about it, he constantly revealing uh, uh, his his war plan. You know, we're constantly signing and crying, telling you that to repent. You know what I'm saying? He revealed that to us. You know, we're telling you that we're right at the end of the world. You know what I'm saying? And we're telling you that judgment will first start at the house of Israel. And I deal about it, you do not want to hear that because you have the spirit of slumber upon you. And I deal about it, it's a stumbling block to you. And you will be will be head in derision and you will be also be totally destroyed. The men of the Lord, he has revealed that to us. We are heeding, we are listening, and we also, we are repenting and we are hastening that great and glorious return of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So now, let's go to, uh, uh, let's go to uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 6. Chapter 10 and verse 6. <clears throat> and it reads, Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low places. So the idea about it, the ways of this world, a lot of people like all this wickedness, all this folly that's going on. So it's set in high places. And the, and the true riches, and, and the true men of the Lord, we are sitting low. We are based right now because the idea about it, the Lord has hidden us from, from the world. And the idea about it, we are doing the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. But in that day, he said in Ezekiel chapter 33 and 33, he said, in that day, they shall know that a prophet was among them. And I deal about it. We are constantly being revealed each and every day through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. So the deal about it, we may be in our low uh, place right now. We might be in our lower state right now, but the deal about it, ye are rich. We are rich in what? In this great wisdom and not great supreme knowledge that only come from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. And only very few that know it. And who is that few? The house of David, the elect. That's the one that he's dealing with this time around. And I deal about it. We're getting the, do the job done and we're standing up tall for Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Salaki. And let's go to, let's go to Acts. Let's go to Acts chapter four. One moment. Acts chapter four and verse 12. Acts chapter four. One moment. Acts chapter four and verse 12. One moment. <clears throat> and it reads, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Let's read that again. Acts chapter 4 and verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And what is that name? Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah. And the only one that know that true names of the Heavenly Father is the prophet. You know what I'm saying? And I deal about the men that it was sent to do the to uh to get to do the work. And I deal about it and, and, and to uh to give the word in its entirety, the truth. You know what I'm saying? And I deal about it. The men of the Lord are doing that constantly, each and every day. And I deal about it. If you do not know the true names of the Heavenly Father, you, it has been hidden from you, and you have been blinded. And I deal about it. Is that I deal about it is that the men of the Lord, the things that that, that 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 is going on in the world each and every day, that's already been prophesied. It already been uh, 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 it already been uh, uh, written. And I deal about it. His word would not return to him void. And I deal about it. the men of the Lord. We are we knowing uh, 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 we are dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. So let's get a quick precept. Let's go to uh, uh, Psalm chapter ninety one and verse one. A quick precept. <laughs> One moment. Psalm chapter 91 and verse 1. Psalm chapter 91 and verse 1. And it reads, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High 
shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So that idea about it, we dwell in secret place of the Most High each and every day because we, we dwell in this great wisdom and great wisdom and knowledge each and every day. So lock it. My tongue getting a little dry one moment. And we dwell in this great wisdom and knowledge each and every day. We're walking in, in the spirit each and every day. We're walking in that light that only comes from Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. So now, let's go to Daniel chapter 2. One moment. Let's get a, a example, a example of how he helped Daniel uh, to reveal uh, the king's uh, interpreted the, the king's dream. Let's go there and get a little example of how the Lord revealed his his secret to the prophets. Uh, Daniel chapter two, one moment, and verse we we'll start up around verse twenty-two. One moment, Let's see can I find it right quick? And it reads Daniel chapter two and verse twenty-two. He reveals the dark secret that Salaki. Uh, Daniel chapter 2 and verse 22 He reveals the deep and, and secret things He knows what is in The darkness and in the light And in the light Dwelleth with him Verse uh, verse 23 I thank thee and praise thee O thy power Of my father who has given Me wisdom and might And has made known Unto me now what what we desire of thee, and thou hast now made known unto us the king's matter. So when you when you go back up, let's read a little bit further up. Let's go back up to verse 21, and it reads, And he changes the times and the season. He removes kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and the, and knowledge to them that that know understanding. And the idea about it is that, you know, uh, uh, Daniel was revealed, uh, the interpretation of Nazarkanazar dream and I did about it. You know, he was he was praising the Lord and, and you know he was Rakata Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shah each and every day. You know, he was praising him because the I did about it, he revealed the secret of the dream. And I did about it, he's doing the same thing today to the prophets of the day. He constantly revealing uh, uh, uh the end time Bible prophecy to the prophets. And I did about it, you know, you know, every the Bible prophecy are, are jumping off the pages left and right, but it's only a very few that is going to uh, uh, attain this knowledge and the rest was blind. The two third they will be cut off and down this side. And I deal about it. It's, it's only it's hidden from the world. And I deal about it, but not to the prophet. And I deal about it. You know we are living in some 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 blessed and, and magnificent time to be in this great wisdom. Wisdom knowledge. You are truly blessed to be in this great wisdom and knowledge. Now we'll go to uh, let's go to Romans. Romans chapter one. One moment. Romans chapter one. Romans chapter one, one moment. Let's see. Romans chapter one, and we'll start up at verse 17. Romans chapter one and verse 17. And it reads, For therein is the righteous righteousness of the most high revealed from faith to from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live. By faith, verse eighteen. For the wrath of the Most High is revealed from heaven, from heaven, against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Verse nineteen. Because, because that which may be known of the Most High is manifest in them, for the Most High has showed it unto them. So the idea about it, we know that the, that great wrath and judgment and recompense is on the way because the idea about it, he revealed it to us. And the idea about it, we believe and the idea about it, we keep the faith. And you know, and the idea about it is that, you know, you do not have faith. It's impossible to serve Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. And the rest of the world is being blinded right now because the idea about it, we are not of the world, you know, and the idea about it, we, we, we came out of the world. And I deal about it. We came to serve the Lord each and every day. And I deal about it. He constantly manifest, manifesting things. So, tongue getting dry again. One moment. He constantly, <clears throat> it's a lot. He constantly uh, manifesting things each and every day to his prophet. Everything is becoming clearer and clearer as we go forth. And, uh, uh, in these end time and, and Bible prophets are constantly jumping off the pages, left and right. Rejoice ye heaven. So now, We'll go to our last and final scripture. We'll go to, uh, let's go to John. We'll close out here. John chapter 15. 
One moment. <clears throat> John chapter 15 and verse 19. John chapter 15. One moment. One moment. <clears throat> John chapter 15 and verse 19. <clears throat> And it read, if ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. So the idea about it, the world love his own. And the idea about it, everyone that's getting along in the way is the world love it here. I love all this wickedness and all this nonsense, things that displease to the Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. You know, they, 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 because they are of the world and the Lord has not revealed uh, uh, his secret to them. And the idea about it, the one is not of the world. It's the, the one third, the house of David, because we were chosen from the beginning, the first fruits. And the idea about it is that he is constantly revealing and manifesting things each and every day. And the idea about it, we are very close to the end. And the idea about the world do not know that because they are going in the ways of the world, the ways of the Gentile. You know what I'm saying? And constantly uh, trusting in the strength of the uh, white man Jesus and trusting in the strength of the so-called white man. And the idea about it, it will only lead to their death and destruction because the world has not known him because he, it has been hidden from them. And I deal about the men of the Lord. It has been revealed to us each and every day because we are truly blessed being this great wisdom and knowledge. So I like to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekha Kadash. And I like to say, Shalom.